Okay, so our next video is going to be on concurrencies of a triangle. So there's three definitions that we need to understand and learn off. First of all, the median, the mediator, and the altitude of a triangle. So it's best described using a diagram. The median of a triangle is a line connecting the vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side. So if we have our triangle ABC, the median is connecting the midpoint of AC to the, the vertex B, all right? So that is the median of a triangle. So a line connecting the vertex with the midpoint of the opposite side. Next definition that we need to know is a mediator. So the mediator is the perpendicular bisector of a side of a triangle. So again, if we look at our triangle now, ABC, the perpendicular bisector of AC is going to go through the midpoint of AC and is going to be perpendicular to AC. So we create a 90 degree angle here. So this here would be the mediator. So a perpendicular bisector to the side sides of a triangle. All right. Last definition that we need to know is the altitude of a triangle. The altitude of a triangle is a line that goes through the vertex of a, of a triangle and is perpendicular to the opposite side. So if we look at, again, our triangle ABC, we're going to concentrate on the vertex B now this time. So the altitude would be a line that goes through B and is perpendicular to the line AC. All right. So those three definitions we need to know. The median, a line connecting the vertex with a midpoint of the opposite side. So this uh, line here would be bisected. The mediator, again, we're looking at bisecting the line AC and it's the perpendicular bisector of the side of a triangle. And the altitude then is a line that goes through the, the line through the vertex, which is perpendicular to the opposite side. All right. So knowing these three pieces of information, we need to look at how to find both graphically and algebraically the centroid, the circumcenter, and the orthocenter of a triangle. So first thing we're going to look at is the centroid. So the centroid of a triangle is the interest at the point of intersection of the three medians of a triangle. So remember, a median is a line connecting the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. And an interesting thing to note about the centroid is that the, um, the centroid bisects the medians in a ratio two is, two is to one. So as a diagram, if we were to look at a triangle ABC, first of all, remember a median connects the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. So the midpoint here of AC would be here. That would be median one, the midpoint of AB connected to C and the midpoint of BC connected to A. So this point here, let's call it D, is the centroid of the triangle. Now we do need to be able to find that both graphically and algebraically. If we were to find it, if we were to go do about, uh, go about it graphically, all you need to do is find the midpoint of this line and connect it to the, tri to the, si to the corner of the triangle. That's fairly simple. If we were to do it algebraically, what you need to do is you need to find the midpoint of the side of a triangle, create the equation of line. So you'd need to find the slope between the point A and this new point here, 
create the equation of the line using y minus y1 equals m by x minus x1, and then look at the point of intersection of two of the medians. You don't need to do the third one, as the intersection point between two of them will be the same as the intersection point between all three. Another way of finding it algebraically is using the formula x1 plus x2 plus x3 over 3 y1 plus y2 plus y3 over 3. So there's two methods there. This one is probably the easier of the two, and if you were given the choice, I would always use this formula here. But if you were not given the choice, then, or if you were asked to find the equation of the line as steps towards finding the centroid, then you would have to be able to do with that method as well, method one. So that's the centroid of a triangle. The next one that we're going to look at is the circumcenter of a triangle. So the circumcenter of a triangle is the point of intersection of the mediators. So remember, the mediators are the perpendicular bisector of the sides of a triangle. Again, we need to be able to find this both graphically and algebraically. So again, if we were looking at our diagram of our triangle ABC. So the perpendicular bisectors of the side. Now, obviously, if you were to construct this, you would have to use normal construction rules. So you show all of your construction lines and so on. So the perpendicular, so we go through the midpoint of AC and construct perpendicular lines. So we're looking at that line there. Go through AB midpoint, and we're looking again at perpendicular line and BC, and again, perpendicular line. So this point down here, let's call again at point D is the circumcenter of the triangle. Now, the circumcenter of a triangle also allows us to draw a circle through the three points of the triangle. And it goes through the outside, so it's outside the circles. So that's the circumcenter. Again, you need to be able to find it graphically. So graphically, as I just showed you there, and with a little bit more detail, and algebraically then, Again, you would be getting the midpoint of AC, you would be getting the slope of AC, the perpendicular slope, and therefore you have a point on the line, you have the slope of the perpendicular, form the equation of the line using y minus y1 equals m by x minus x1, and you need to find the point of intersection of two of the mediators. So that's an, um, that is something that we need to be able to do algebraically. Lastly, the orthocenter of a triangle. So the orthocenter of a triangle is the point of intersection of the altitudes. So remember, an altitude of a triangle is a line through a vertex which is perpendicular to the opposite side. So one thing to note about the orthocenter, the orthocenter can actually lie both inside and outside the triangle. So be aware of that. So just in case you get a question where your orthocenter lies outside, don't panic. It probably is, it probably is correct. So again, if we were looking at our triangle now, this time we're going to look at this one here, A, B, C. So remember, an altitude is a line through the vertex, which is perpendicular to the other side, so the opposite side here. So we're going to construct one altitude here, one altitude here, and our final altitude would result in our orthocenter here. So it's the point of intersection of the altitudes of a triangle. Again, we do need to be able to find it both algebraically and graphically. Now, based on this, I want you to go and try some exam paper questions. They're based on finding the orthocenter of the triangle. So I want you to try 2017, paper two, question three, and 2016, paper two, question one. So watch the video in full, attempt these two questions, and I will post up the solutions on our Google Classroom. Thanks, guys.